Mamy się już bardzo mocno. Thank you, thank you for having me uh, uh, in this auspicious gathering. Thank you very much. So, uh, you bought part 51 for location for nearly $5 million. Uh, hypothetically, if somebody came and offered you $5 million and gave you another location in Manhattan, would you take the money and go to another location? Did you, did you say $500 million? <laughs> I am uh, a real estate investor and developer, and um, uh, I am very capitalistic in my nature, but this is not about money. This project is not about money. There's a little bit, a little bit of profit and not for profit in this transaction, but it's not, uh, it's not about the last dollar. So it, it hasn't been strictly about profit. And so, the five hundred million dollars. We should talk yeah. after the show. It's, it's, it's a million million million. Million. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and the controversy surrounding this project is one thing, but the fundraising is obviously another. Uh, how much of the hundred million dollars that you need for the center have you raised? We haven't raised any of it yet. Um, none of it yet. We are in the process of finishing the, uh, the not-for-profit uh, due to the extreme scrutiny that we are getting and, and the extreme interest, whether it's positive or, or negative in the project. Where do you think the money's going to come from? I have been dying to speak to a couple of months ago in respect to some of my for-profit projects. Um, um, today are flying in from around the country to sit down with me and, and say, how can, they be, how can they be a part of this? Well, it's just so, strange to the process that has happened to you in the last four months. I mean, you went from uh, being a, a waiter to being a broker to being a developer, and now you're on 60 Minutes and you're having lunch with Bill Clinton, and all of this happened in a matter of like five months. It's um, it's been incredible. I mean, uh, you know, when I moved to New York, I, did, I started waiting tables and bartending, and I very quickly got into the real estate business. I started out as a, uh, as a broker. Then I figured out how to sell buildings. Um, and I sold a lot of buildings all over Manhattan. I was always very impressive. Verse. I never wanted anyone to know who I was. I just wanted to make money. Well, let's talk about the other uh, building that you bought on West 27th Street. I mean, some people would say you paid too much money for that. You paid 423 a foot for 100,000 square feet in the Guardian Street. Now, I beg to differ with you on the price per pound that I paid for it. I was able to get a $39 million mortgage from MT Bay. Um, uh, it, was, it was an unbelievable deal where I was able to earn 50% equity to 85% of that, yeah. which is very hard to find. And I would be very glad to buy another one of those buildings immediately if I could find one. Yeah. Maybe we'll have somebody here. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, let's get back to uh, the project with the, you know, the controversy, uh, Part 51. And what do you expect to actually have the money raised and have shovels in the ground? It's just a matter of us deciding who we want to be as a sponsor or a partner in this project. So I think that over the next 12 months, we're going to uh, uh, you know, really have identified who are going to be the other stakeholders. We plan on having a very diverse board of Christians, Muslims, and Jews. Do you ever consider your past projects to be Muslim -like projects? Or no, never. <laughs> you've, you've done other uh, Islamic centers before in the city, and no one's been Well, I've, I've um, yes, I have. I've done a couple, and, and um, I've been very lucky that I've been involved in three others. The last one was I, I started a, a, a center on 128 Street in Park and Lexington, which is called the Harlem Sign Community Center. Um, it's still, uh, uh, again, it's, it's open for very limited things, and, and we're still working on that. Uh, I just read the uh, well, uh, it was reported this week that a volunteer EMT guy sued you because he said that he had the distress of the project, the Park 51, and then you guys can't pursue uh, well, Can you tell us anything about that? You know, I can't comment on that, um, and I'm surprised that you are uh, you're bringing something to my attention. Oh, <laughs> our, our reporters are really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was a survey on uh, Fox News that said 80% of New York City, uh, it was 80% uh, of the residents of New York City were against the project. If I was going to go to the party, 80% of the people were going to there, I wouldn't go. Uh, what, what's, what, what's your take on that? Well, you know, I don't know, you know, where is that 80% from? You know, one of the things <laughs> that, that, you know, Fox, <laughs> there's been a campaign of deception and misinformation that's been waged in the media 
um, uh, just misinforming the public about this fraud. I mean, are you taking any protective measures? I mean, are you walking around with the security? Or how's it, how's it been? You know, in, uh, in August, it was very, very scary, and there was some very crazy things happening. But at the same time, I believe in the city. I believe that, I believe in the good of people. And I believe that when you're trying to do something good, you just have to believe. You, you know, we know that Bloomberg was for the uh, project, and we know Obama was for the project. Who do you think would be the proponent of the project, but turned out to be Obama? One of the most surprising um, was really Sarah Palin. Um, <laughs> she's from Alaska. What does she know about New York? I mean, that was just the most surprising. And especially when she decided to tweet about it. Um, I didn't get it. I just said yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.